Tell your neighbor, me and God, we are praying together. Me and God, we are fasting together. Me and God, we are studying the word together. Me and God, me and God, we are loving together. Me and God, we are fighting together. Me and God, we are moving together. Yes, if you and God, you are moving together, fighting together, praying together, loving together, sitting together, standing together, who can be against you? Clap for yourself. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, me and God, we are sleeping together. We are sitting together. We are dancing together. We are worshiping together. We are moving together. Me and God, we are praying together. We are declaring together. We are singing together. We are praising together. We are dancing together. We are worshiping together. We are studying together. Me and God, me and God, me and God, we are dancing together. We are shouting together. We are praising together. We are worshiping together. Who can be against you? You start to fear when you know you are doing it without God. Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. You start to doubt. You start to fear when you know you are doing it without Christ. You start to fear, you start to doubt. But if you and God, you are moving together, shouting together, dancing together, sleeping together, getting up together, praying together, fasting together, I have no reason to fear. Ask your neighbor, are you moving with God? Are you fighting with God? Are you praying with God? Are you tarrying with God? And what's your neighbor saying? I can't hear you. Well, we are going to know by the time we read the scripture. <laughs> Clap for yourself one more time. Let's open to the book of John chapter 15. John chapter 15. Jean chapter 15. Read, read in French. Verse 1 to 5. Jean chapter 15, du verset 1 à 5. Verset 1, je lis. Je suis le vrai cep, et mon père est le vigneron. Tout sarment qui est en moi et qui ne porte pas de fruits, il le retranche. Et tout sarment qui porte de fruits, il les monde afin qu'il porte encore plus de fruits. Verset 3. Déjà vous êtes purs à cause de la parole que je vous ai annoncée. Verset 4. Demeurez en moi et je demeurerai en vous. Comme le sarment ne peut de lui-même porter du fruit, s'il ne demeure attaché au sceptre, ainsi vous ne le pouvez pas. Non plus, si vous ne demeurez pas en moi. Verset 5, le dernier verset. Je suis le cep, vous êtes les sarments. Celui qui demeure en moi et en qui je demeure porte beaucoup de fruits. Car sans moi, vous ne, portez, vous ne pouvez rien faire. Voici la parole de l'Éternel. Ok. I read. I am the true vine. And my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. Remember, still here the branch is with God. And every branch that beareth not fruit, he does what? In me, it means there are many branches. 
that can be linked to God, but they bear no fruit. He said in verse 2, every branch in me, he didn't say in him, in the foolish man, in the devil, still in me, if you are a branch and you bear no fruit, every branch in me that bear not fruit, he take it away. And every branch that bear fruit, he purge it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Verse 3, now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abided in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Tell your neighbor, for without Christ, you can do nothing. I can hear you. Okay, somebody with good news. I want to hear your own before I start to tell you what I have. Yes, madam, you can. Okay. I am the real vine, and my father is the gardener. He breaks off every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and he prunes every branch that does, that does bear fruit, so that it will be clean and bear more fruit. You have been made clean already by the teaching I have given you. Remain united to me, and I will remain united to you. A branch cannot bear fruit by itself. It can do so only if it remains in the vine. In the same way, you cannot bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am a vine, and you are the branches. Whoever remains in me, and I am in him, will bear much fruit. For you can do nothing without me. For you can do Nothing. Tell your neighbor, you cannot marry without Jesus. Tell your neighbor, you cannot pray without Jesus. You cannot fast without Jesus. You cannot worship without Jesus. I want to tell you something, what I capture. True union. True union with God. True union with what? I didn't say union with God. I know why I added true. Because even from the first verses, you are going to see that the Bible says, They that are in me and bear no fruit shall be do what? Shall be cut away, shall be taken away. They that are with me, means already there's a union. But why are they broken out? Why? The union is not true. So that is where the message coming. True union with God. Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. Yes. What does this mean? He said, if you abide in me and I abide in you, you will bear and you can do nothing without it means for you to confess, believe, act with God, you need God's spirit. For you to confess, believe, act with God, you don't need human strength. You don't need human ability for you to confess, believe, and act with God. You need God's spirit. For your Christian life, your spiritual life, to be admired by those in the other side. Your union must not be based on human strength, 
philosophy or human abilities, but on spirit power. Jesus said, for you to bear fruit, you abide in me, I abide in you, you bear more fruit. It means to follow Jesus, it, you still need Jesus. To act with Jesus, you still need Jesus. To pray with Jesus, you still need Jesus. To fast as a child of God, you still need Jesus. We pray without Jesus. We fast without Jesus. We engage into business activities without Jesus. We engage in many of the affairs of life without Jesus. That is why there is limitation. When you walk with the Lord in the light of his way, what a glory he sheds on our way. When you do his good will, he abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no Products as a child of God is as a result of your true union, your fruits. As a Christian, your fruits. As a child of God, as a prayer warrior, is as a result of your true union. My union with God. Help me to produce. Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. The more union with God, the more produce I have. Tell your neighbor. It is my union through the power of the Spirit that helps me to produce what you are seeing. It is not my educational background. But my union between me and the unseen person seated at the right hand of the Father. Do you have a union? That is why it is very difficult for me to stay on the altar and give a message for many hours. Why? I, as a prophet, I will not stand here, speak for seven hours when I cannot pray for seven hours. That is the sickness today in the body of men of God. You can stand before people for 20 hours, but you cannot stand before God for two hours. Your union is equivalent to the produce. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Your time spent in spirit. If I stand here four hours to talk, to talk with you, I should stand with God for eight hours. Then I divide it into two. I give people four. When I, as prophet, cannot pray for 30 minutes with God, I have no right to pray for you for 20 hours. My union face.
if you abide in me and I in you, you shall bear fruit. No, if you don't bear fruit, it means you don't abide. No true relationship, no true union. And true union is not based by what you know, but power of Holy Spirit, power of Holy Ghost. It is the Holy Ghost that gets into my body, kills my human desire, kills my human thoughts, kills my ungodly thoughts to serve God. So I need ability, spirit ability, because the world we live is not our home. So the flesh will always ask you to do that which is of the world. So that is where Jesus said, if you don't abide in me and I in you, you cannot succeed. You need me, Jesus, to succeed. What this flesh is looking for is contrary to what the spirit is looking for. And what the spirit is looking for is contrary to what this flesh is looking for. So therefore, abide in me, I in you. You bear more fruit. Are you with me? My fruits are equivalent to my true union with God. Do you have a true union with God? You expect to pray and you see result at the same time. You expect to pray and you hear the Holy Spirit minister to you. Do you have true union with such character you are portraying? Jesus said, any branch that is in me that does not bear fruit shall be done. What? I can't hear the church. It means the branch is in Christ, they cannot bear fruit. So that is why you don't have to be surprised. But oh, this woman is a temple Christian, but very bad character. Oh, yes. It is very normal. Yeah, but this woman is going to prophet Boris Church. Oh, it's very normal. Jesus said it. He said, there are some branches that will be in me, but they will not be fruitful. Their union is not based on spirit power, but what they know, what they think, what they feel. Even among the 12 apostles, was Judas Iscariot not a betrayer? He was the betrayer, but he was in Christ. So it should not be a matter of human strength to serve God. Spirit power. It is the Holy Spirit that gets into your mortal body, makes you supernatural, makes you heavenly, makes you spiritual, makes you to take the form of an angel, Makes you to see beyond the situations at hand in order for you to worship God. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. A true Christian is he that is walking with God. Walking. Walk. Walk. Not walking after him or walking behind him. A true Christian is he that walks with God. Oh, walk, 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 walking with the Lord. Oh, walk, 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 walking, walking in the light. Oh, oh, walk, 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 walking in the light. Walking in the light of God. Oh, walk, oh, walk, 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 walking in the light. Oh, walk, walk, walk. Walking in the light, oh, walk, 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 walk. Uh, walking in the light, walking in the light of God. That is a true Christian. He that walks together with God, he sits 
together with God. He stands together. He study Bible together. Such a person who can be against him. Clap for yourself. Thank you. And you will bear more fruit. But if your nature, your character is bad, you cannot bear fruit. You can't bear fruit. You can be in Christ, but when your character is bad, you can't bear fruit. Jesus said, he will be in me, but if he bear no fruit, I shall do all. The father shall cut away, because no fruit but in me. No fruit but in the church. No fruit but with the prophet. No fruit but no man of God. No fruit but he came to Limbe for opening of the tower. But he has no fruit. Viewers at home. To manifest spirit of God, you must have a true union with God. To function as God wants you to function in this war of hatred, troubles, you must move along with spirit of God. Jesus cried this serious cry in his heart. Abide in me and I in you. For you to succeed in this war. Abide in me and I in you. He said for without me. Whatever you are doing in this war. Without God. Whatever you are looking for. Without God. Are you with God? Are you abiding in Christ? Can I touch your garment and be healed, my Lord? Can I touch your garment and be healed, Lord? Can I touch your garment and be healed? Can I touch your garment? And be healed, Lord, can I touch your garment? And be healed.